Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Gongdu on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had defeated Lu Bu's army in battle. Unfortunately, though, we couldn't quite finish off the army, so the entire thing is going to be back in two turns. And now we were attacked down here in the Silk Trader of Wudu. So we're going to have to deal with this first, and by the time we get back up to Lubu's army, it's going to be fully replenished again. So essentially we did nothing, which is kind of a shame. It was a very good battle though, I enjoyed that one. So this is a, a battle where we are trying to just kill a couple of their archers off. Make our next battle where we attack them next turn likely uh, a little bit easier. Although I'll likely siege them out, and if they want to sally out, that's totally up to them. Uh, I hope I can just reach the town. I might not even be able to reach it, which would just be even worse, but... We'll see. In this one, really, the goal is just to kill off a couple of archers. Um, with our cavalry. Very small town, actually. Interesting. Uh, so there's one archer here, f two archers here, and one archer here. All of them actually are quite wounded already. Um, I'm gonna have to... I only have two two melee units. I guess, yeah, we'll hold one melee unit on each side. They're gonna get shot to pieces, but cavalry's gonna come out of here, so we can choose whether to go that way or this way. It'll probably be this way, though. Please, don't be... Okay, thank you. Uh, we do have three archers, so I guess we can fire back at them for a little while. Do I even bother having... Yeah, I'll keep one on this side. In fact, there's three G militia units here. They take more damage than the spear unit. The... Spear guard, so... Um, there's a lot more shielded infantry around this side, so why don't we just focus fully over here. Just take down as many units on this side as possible. Well, let's do... Let's do two units here. And then we'll keep one over here. And we'll keep it... Uh, kind of over here. Make sure I fire at the right units, but that should be okay. Alright. Let's do it. Unfortunately, it's snowy, which, well, normally is not a bad thing, because it means the enemy is going to be slower towards getting to my archers in the normal field battle, which is great. But in this particular case, our calf's going to be much slower getting to their archers, which is going to not at all be good. There's also a calf unit here, which I didn't really think about. Uh, there's one over here as well, actually, so whatever the case, there's always going to be some calf near us. Probably just triples most of this battle here. There's not much we can do right now. Just gotta wait until all their infantry gets in there. I hope my unit survives long enough for me to get uh, the kill on the... Oh, fuck. I hate this. They need to change this shit. Why are you not on fire at will? That's such a dumb thing. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Fire at G Militia. Fire. Actually, let's get both kill off that unit. Put them on guard mode, too. I think that... I, just, I hate that. Why the... F Fuck, did they think that was a good idea? Oh, in defense of sieges, we should take their archers off fire at will, so they, they never, they'll never expect it. Haha. <laughs> Funny. A good practical joke from us, isn't it? Alright. Next one. Might want to shoot their raider cavalry, to be honest. Make my uh, cav fight a little bit easier next battle. Alright. Go and kill them. Go and kill them. They're almost out of ammo already. My unit's almost out of fucking health. I don't know if there's much firing still happening here, but yeah, it looks like it's it's okay. It's going okay. Tempted to charge one unit over here, to be honest. Let the, this guy kill off all the archers. There's not many of them. Just try and kill off some stuff here. The enemy warriors are running. Haha. <laughs> Actually, fucking running everything over here. I don't know if I'm holding long enough here for this to be useful. Let's just kill the archers off instead. Make sure we do something before we rout our entire army. Yep. Fucking sweet ass charge, boys. That was pretty mediocre charge. It is interesting though, I mean, you kill like 60 men or something, it's like a mediocre charge. Yeah, keep firing at those units, I want to make sure they fully die. Actually, I'm gonna rout this whole side here, except for the general. Kill the archer off, why not? And yeah, this was sad. What the fuck was this charge? It didn't do any damage here. Get out of there. You hold him back. You're the anchor. This shit is the uh, anvil. Actually, just charge that unit for a second. 
Yeah, when they run away, the charge just becomes way worse. You'd think it'd become better, not like not necessarily the charge, but you run through the unit and kill them all off. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way in this game. You've come back from routing, okay? Actually, just shoot something. Just do as much damage. Oh, hello. It's possible. Just hold until this unit, these units can do as much damage as possible, basically. Until I can kill a couple of these archers, at least do a severe amount of damage to them, basically. Alright, well you did that. Uh, not even bother attacking him, this is a waste. Come on, make him fucking route. See, this is too slow. You're, they're just not doing any damage. I guess the winter isn't helping, though, to be honest. It actually is making them significantly slower. That's surprisingly shit as well. Just survive for these guys to do more damage. Ugh, fuck me. Kill that one. Don't let him run away. There you go. Frontal charge like that will fucking demolish units, although that was surprisingly weak again. But that unit's basically dead. Go ahead and kill that one. Surprised these units haven't routed yet. They've taken my uh, capture point as well. Still have a unit over there, actually. <laughs> Make him chase you, and then that unit charges in. Right. They're holding this. This is our fort now, boys. <laughs> Let's get out of my fort. All right. There's not really much else I can do. I can't charge in there because we'll just die. So I'm gonna have to try and, if I have enough time, get in here and just charge into something. But it's, I'm not gonna be able to do much anymore in the, in the way of killing things. I'm surprised we haven't routed yet, to be honest. I'm already on triple speed as well. I was going to say, let's triple speed this, but I'm actually already doing that. I'd rather not fight this shit. I want to fight some shitty infantry, but... I'm not going to be able to, I don't think. If there's a unit there I could probably kill off, but I don't think that's worth it. Just try and kill a couple of units here. We're all fucking tired as hell. This unit's almost gone, there you go. They're not going to last much longer. Kind of threw him away at the end there, but there's not really anything I can do there anymore. I killed a couple of archers, that's what we came here to do. So now we have full-on archer superior superiority in the next battle. I'm still going to siege him out, though. Yay, we did it. Fucking hell, I killed more than half their army. To be fair, probably it was the towers mostly doing that, but... That was pretty good. Okay. That was better than I expected. My income is going to be fucking trash. Uh, Liu Yan succeeded by Liu Zhang. Oh, okay. That's a legendary character, I think. Civil War Dongmin. That's nice. Still no uh, peace, though. Piece of shit. We like each other. Great. Character development. More people are available. Fantastic. Right, can we reach? Uh, please tell me we can reach. Yes, we can reach the town. Good. Might even be an auto zolt that. No, probably won't be. Medium losses. But, again, I might just make him take attrition immediately. I could fight it, but I would lose so many men for no reason. I guess demand their surrender, but I don't think that would take that. And I, I don't think I want that. I want, to make, I want to kill them off. If I do that, they will just fuck off. I think they all survive if I do that, but... Yeah. They weren't going to take that anyway. Fair enough. Um, we're still building that. So that's all fine. I think I need to make sure that the guy who's able to do the food assignment... It was probably this agricultural exploitation that he has... He. Zhu Yu, yeah. We need to make sure we... Um, we stop an assignment before, like the turn before that happens, because I need to get that food up immediately. Right, well, they're not going to sell you out, but it's okay. Can I do any more right now, by the way? I still can't do any kind of uh, diplomatic relations or anything, or any, any dip diplomacy besides uh, confederating with only yellow turbans, that is. Or coalition, sorry, with yellow turbans. 
Alright, well, there's not a whole lot else I can do in that case. Let's end the turn. So, this is the turn, I believe. Oh, wow, he's actually selling out. This is the turn Dong Ming gets his entire army. Or, sorry, um, yeah, the other army comes back in its full strength. Well, not it, it comes back at a quarter strength, but. Um, do I bother fighting this one? <laughs> After having done so much work to reduce their archers, and then they get all these fucking garrison archers. Um. I think I'm going to fight this one. Alright, sorry about that. I got rudely interrupted by my girlfriend. Had to fucking sit on the phone for 20 minutes. Anyway, back to the battle. I was going to fight this one, so let's go ahead and do that. Should not be any kind of issue. And then, I don't know what we're going to do after this. We'll basically be back to where we were a couple of turns ago before Lu Bu showed his face. We have, however, killed off well this army and another half a stack. And of course we beat Lu Bu's army, but that one's going to be replenished by the time we meet it again, so that's irrelevant. We'll probably actually, yeah, replenish uh, for a bit ourselves. And then we'll see exactly what the plan will be, to be honest. Um, I guess we'll just sit here in the middle i think what is this shrubbery is that actually gonna help anyone no it doesn't look like it um yeah let's just sit up here i could set myself up just inside the tree line but i don't think that's really necessary uh you're a bit wounded so let's leave you out of this formation pop you somewhere at the back i'll keep you guys on the flanks as per usual did they have any cavalry i don't remember you're almost fully replenished as are you and you Two cav, you guys can, yeah. I think this this actually kind of works, the other, at least two cav. I don't know how much skirmishing we're really doing. But we are definitely making the enemy kind of come towards us sometimes, one or two units at a time. So just for that reason alone, it might actually be worth doing this. Okay, there's still two generals here that are full HP, so we gotta keep that in mind. Or one of them is a full HP, the other one not quite, but... Can't wait until we get some artillery down. Right, is that actually... Eh, not really hilly, so that's okay, I'm gonna... Pull the army forward a little bit. See, I've get I've got the question how to do that so many fucking times. Hold, I've I've said this in the Bay campaign as well. Hold Alt, then you can click the army, click anything what you've got selected. If I right click, it goes away again. By the way, um, yeah, just if I want to just only move these two units, just drag those. Hold Alt, click on one of the two units, so you can drag them around, and then hold Control to uh, rotate them. But I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna right clicking. Oh fuck, no, let's not do that. Let's not get ourselves fucked. But yeah, that's the nice thing. We can just run around, just waste our ammo before the battle starts, basically, and then just use them as melee cav. They are certainly worse melee cav, and I think I'd still prefer having two actual units, but... Uh, not you, actually. Although your melee debuff is pretty solid, too. I don't want to duel you. They do actually want to duel you. Since you're pretty much full HP, uh, you are... not going to take a duel. This is Li Ju. Which one is that? The one who's not full HP, yeah, I'm taking that. Let's pop you in the forest somewhere, and I also should put you further out. Oh, there's a unit back there. It's the only range unit they've got. Go kill it. You uh, lost the first bout. Great. Alright, actually gonna send you in here and start murdering everyone. Also use the melee evasion buff there. Actually, you can also go in there. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna take that risk. Uh, actually, you might wanna stop this unit here. Oh fuck, I might wanna get my spears up front here. Go more offensive. Alright, I don't know why I sent two units to go do that, but that unit's fucking dead. Oh, right, there's still reinforcements. Almost forgot about those. Uh, right, I just kind of sent you here to use your debuff, and then uh, you need to get the fuck out of there. Whoa, that is such a solid ability. Like, the debuff, but then also the actual massive splash damage is pretty pretty good. Okay, now you're just getting fucking wrecked. There you go. You have won your duel. I think you may have done it in the time limit as well. You're full HP now, pretty solid. So now I just gotta kill the reinforcements, because this is about to go. Well, you're getting a little bit low down. Funloba! I agree. Go fuck him up. One drive-by attack. Oh shit, you're still not mounted. Well, so be it, I guess. 
Wait, did we, we didn't use our, like, ability to uh, stop him from moving, but for some reason it's just completely stationary over there. Uh, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna charge and all, but I just killed half my unit there. That was a bad idea. I hope he's still going. You might want to mount up. Why are you going all the way over there? Did I tell him to go over there? Oh, I must have selected him with these two units, right? Gotcha. Yeah, I kind of wasted a few too many of my dudes there, to be honest. <laughs> Spawns all the way over there, fucking hell. Alright, you're not really a fighter, let's bring you- Oh, let's finish you, uh, this guy off of you as well. Okay, my arch needs to fucking stop wasting ammo here. Almost back on his mount, is he gonna be able to make it? That's the real question. Yeah, he is. Get on your high horse. Fuck, there's- oh, they're firing him, okay. There's actually quite a few archers there. Uh, alright. Let's just fucking attack someone, shall we? You guys, go and attack as well. Okay. Uh, archers, feel free to fire again. Fucking get this unit immediately wrecked completely. And goodbye. Actually, that was surprisingly bad. I guess he had shields, so fair enough. Actually, right, you guys kill him? Killed him, even? Nice. Yeah, let's triple speed the rest. Alright, hold on. Kind of pulled you guys out of the charge seconds before you got there. You guys might as well just charge in there. Alright, I, I will just auto all the rest of this fight anyway, so I'll kill him a, a little bit more, but I'm not too worried about it. In this game, it seems like even if there's no one left in the town, you still don't get it on the end, like during your uh, during the enemy's turn, which means you still have to do an actual attack order, which means you still have to spend a turn taking the town essentially, which kind of sucks. But all right, uh, yeah, whatever. Besides the victory, who the funk it? Now we need to fucking replenish. This place does have better replenishment than the other place we had before, so... Or the other place we were in before, so... I need to get this already back up before Lu Bu makes another fucking appearance. 48 men lost. A lot of money, at least, every time we do a battle. Uh, 2% isn't gonna really do much for me. I think I'll just take the ransom. So yeah. I don't- we didn't actually kill everything off this time anyway, but even if we had, we would still not be able to take the- Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, where you go. So we occupy it, and now that takes my turn, so I can't actually move any further. So we did kill everything off, but it just wasn't enough. Uh, this is level 2. Right, it was level 2. I cancelled that, didn't I? So, uh, I think that's gonna repair itself, so that's okay. Liu Fu and Li Ju. How about that piece? It's gone down by about 20 points, but still not enough. Alright. It's unfortunate I haven't got any money. I really would like to... get some more stuff. Are you the lady in this army? No, you're not. You must be doing an uh, assignment right now. 21-21. Fuck me, these people are unhappy. Right, what do you got? You have the... Knowledge of the Mind ability, which is pretty solid. Enlightenment, Public Order, Unit Morale. So you, from, yeah, you're going to be recruiting my Spear Infantry. Alright. Uh, so this is Knowledge of the Mind, Knowledge of the Body, Knowledge of the Spirit. Interesting. Some Morale buff. We haven't seen those in, yet. The Heal Amount. That's pretty good. I'm guessing that's like all the units that are in range of... Also, she leveled up before this guy did. That's kind of sad. Uh, but all the units in range of that, like anyone who's still alive basically gets healed by a whole bunch. Over 20 seconds, okay. It's not like an instant heal. But that's still a lot. So it doesn't like bring units back from the dead, but this unit, like if, if there are wounded units in that uh, in that unit, or wounded men in that unit, they'll get healed. That's pretty good. Plus 20 satisfaction, holy shit. Minus 20% corruption local commandery too. Campaign movement range and speech is not in an army right now, so that's not that useful. This is really good though. Both of those are really good. Uh, I think the satisfaction is pretty fucking solid. And the corruption reduction as well. Should increase our income a little bit. Ooh, 6% income from commerce faction wide. Holy fuck. Going for that one next, I think. Alright. What's going on? Damage building. Everyone's happy now, at least. That's good. Faction support's gone up a lot. That one's still minus 6, but it'll go up over time. 
We have a dark building. I'll repair it, because fuck it. Um, I'm not going to do that. Although I could build something else then, but we'd be out of food immediately. So next turn probably cost a thousand, and turn after that would cost five hundred. But we don't have any reason to waste our money right now. All right, so we're replenishing really pretty fast. I think now it's time to replace these guys with actual cav units. That con that price has gone down a lot. I just noticed. Were they more expensive? By the way, I think they were. I can't see because I can't recruit the other ones anymore. <laughs> Gave up on that. Um, the only other thing I could still consider is putting, for example, these yellow turban arches in here, and then having um, to like the these two guys here. So I have all the arches in one retinue. I think that's probably actually the better way to go. But I think for now, I don't really want to spend that money on something as trivial as that. That's something we can do at some point in the future. But I think that that is the way I would go about it. Because right now, like, um, if we get this own retinue thing, it would only work for those four, and these two would just be slightly worse. So that'd be kind of a waste. Also, he doesn't have exactly the same skill, so you don't actually have all the same buffs. And then this, for example, would be much better on him. He can also get it, but it wouldn't do as like it would be less important for him. So we could just not get that basically. So we make one of them focused on archery and one of them focused on infantry and cavalry, etc., or just melee as opposed to range, essentially. Anyway, um, let's see, quick deals. Anyone want to peace out? Zhang Lu wants to peace out. That's the guy over here. Do I have any reason to fight you right now? Not necessarily. Then again, uh, that's this silk trader right here. That's the same province. Okay, maybe I do have kind of a reason to fight him. The problem is I don't really want to go here and take this. Because if I do, then Lu Bu is still over here somewhere, so I gotta go that way. So I guess piecing out of him is not a bad idea. I, since I can't get any other deals of him, I can always just declare war on him again after 10 turns. But right now, I may as well make myself a little bit more secure at the back here. There's nothing else I can do now. So coalitions could be formed, but there's just no reason to do that right now. Plus, I'd have to give him shit, which I don't want to do. So yeah, peace out of him. Peace off with him. Um, oh, we got minus 10 percent corruption. Yeah, that's our thing, isn't it? As yellow turbans, we fucking hate corruption, apparently. I guess, I mean, it makes sense. We hate the whole Han Empire. Why the fuck would you do Oh, shit, you're a guy to my south, aren't you? Alright, I'll acknowledge that. If he's, if he's done that, he might be actively looking to do something against me. There's not much I can do about that right now. Good old stone rat. You want a stone rat? You want to get something better than that. See, I really want to go on the offensive. I think I need to replenish for at least another turn, though. Maybe more. But I would like to go on the offensive against Dongzhou. I think I just want to get peace with Dongzhou and just expand south. I can't afford a second army. So we really are in a bit of trouble here. Because if this guy does come up with a full stack, there's so little we can do about it. This copper mine is level 1, so the garrison here is basically trash. I hate that you can move the fucking camera with the left mouse button. It happens too much on accident. I want to look to the north. I'm addicted to looking to the north. Um, Alright, I'm going to pull this guy out of his assignment. Or, well, I need to pull someone out of his assignment. I guess I don't need the public order as much anymore now. If I take the 12 away, it would still be on... Well, if I take, I guess, local characters or the garrison. I don't know which one it is. Probably garrison. It should still be positive if I take the minus 12 away, I imagine. So let's pop him out. And then put in the food one next turn. And I can also finish off the building for 500 bucks if I wanted to. So we're taking at least one more turn of replenishment, I think. It's all too far away as well. The only place I could reach next turn is that one. But I don't really want to reach this one. This just makes, my, makes it even more difficult to defend everything. The only thing that I want to do is just take out so much of their shit that I can peace out with him. Fucking, I'm taking this place. I just want to be able to peace out. I'm a coalition if I give you a bunch of shit. I'm afraid that's not going to work for me, Wong Xiao. Mr. Xiao. 
Alright, guy in the south still hasn't shown up at least. Alright, let's go take this. Even if I can't hold on to it. Oh, uh, that's just gonna get that one. I can also just sack him with draw on this fucking Rex shit, but. Alright. Um, I'm gonna finish this one off right now for 500 bucks. So that means we're at minus food now. So we can we have to do one of these. Can we get four food? Zhu Yu or Tao Chi? Uh, I guess it'll be Zhu Yu, so we actually have something to do with him. Takes a turn to go in there and do that, but that should be okay. Gong be ranked up to five, that's good. So you can now recruit something new, right? Yeah, you can recruit this unit now. Which we don't really want anymore, but still. You are gonna get... We do want Killing Grounds, we don't care about that. Uh, I do want that campaign movement range quite drastically, that would have helped us out so much in the past. This is really good as well, though. But I think the campaign movement range, especially now, is going to be the most important thing. Attempts an armor for own retinue doesn't really help with just archers, but yeah. Ooh. The capital is... Uh, the, the problem with doing this is that I'm sure we could take it very easily. But then... Well, I don't actually know how it works as Yellow Turban Rebels. I'm assuming Han Empire doesn't become my vassal. It'd be kind of ironic since our whole thing is that we hate the Han Empire. So I don't know what ha what would happen if we take the capital. Now I'm starting to think I shouldn't have gotten peace with him, because I can just get here in a couple turns. Actually, surprisingly, it's still faster to run all the way around. It takes five turns just to get there. So if we probably get like five turns, we could, we'd get there. Maybe attack it, but either way, it would take fucking ages. Do I upgrade this? Uh, I think we need to desert. first of all upgrade something here. So I do really want to get the food. I don't really care about food here specifically. Um, I, like, I don't want this to be a food producing province. I guess we just rely on that thing for the moment. Uh, which means I want to get the artisan. There was something else I wanted to get to. Definitely want this. But not right now, probably. Research rate's pretty good as well. Um, yeah, the artisan is probably good. Just straight up income from both things, not um, income percentage, just income. It's a solid building to have. It takes a single turn to make as well. Actually, how much do we like? Okay, that still costs 500 bucks. We can still upgrade this one too. And the garrison doesn't really upgrade it from it though, as we've noticed before. But what else am I going to spend my money on? So let's go for it. You can always cancel it anyway. Problem is though, I'm just I'm not really going to actively protect this one. I don't think. Twenty-six point one, still not quite there. I don't know if I want to take the capital. I think it's it's a bit risky. If I do that, I don't know if. You know what? I could try and besiege it and then see if they'll take peace for it, but. Because the problem is, if I take this, normally with any other faction, if you take this, the uh, the Han Empire becomes your vassal. Because whoever owns the Emperor, or whoever controls the Emperor, uh, see there you go, the Han Emperor becomes vassal of whoever controls the Emperor. Whoever controls the Emperor may annex Han ter uh, Empire territory at cost. Oh, I didn't even know that. Um, the thing is, is it still the case if, if a Yellow Turban becomes the the capital owner. I don't know, and I don't really want to try that out. Because that could be really bad. We don't want the Han Empire to be my vassal. It would stop a war, at least, but it would make many more wars happen. Everyone in the world would declare war on me, essentially. And we don't really want that. Oh, he's in New York. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, so, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know. I'd rather just fucking peace out with him, to be honest. But if he doesn't give me peace, then there's not much I can do about that. Um, for the moment, I guess, yeah, we'll just keep taking their towns and see what happens. Lu Bu is bound to show up again at some point. Hello, Lu Bu. He's shown up at some point. <laughs> Killing that army off would probably help a lot. Friends stick together. Nice one. Shang Rock. Wrong. Shamrock. Who the fuck is that? You Shang, oh, you're Shang Rong. Nice one. 
Built a building. Fantastic. New faction capital for Wang Xiao. Probably because he lost his former one, I'm guessing. So that's not going well for him. Wudu is actually minus happiness, but that's because there's a minus 8 from this dude being here. Look at this dude. Alright, so I can't make it back in one turn. Oh wow, I fucking can. Hell yeah. That's an insane bit of movement. How did I get so much movement? Where did that come from? I got 10% extra. Alright, this place is going to probably rebel very quickly. Holy shit. Minus 35 from reserves. Right, our food is positive again, so that should go away when the reserves go up again. Ugh, fucking hope so. That's not good. Um, okay, so he can... He might still be able to go elsewhere, but... His wounds recovered as well, so... No way we're going to be able to finish him up. Plus he's full HP again. So we're back to square one. But his army is a lot weaker than mine is right now. So that's good. Oh my god, I can almost... Wait, can I reach him? I can actually reach him. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. I fucked myself now. Because now he can just get to my horse pastures, can't he? That's so dumb. I hate that. And I, I probably won't... Okay, I can probably get there in one turn. I can hope I can. Ah, fuck you. Well, I'll probably be able to kill off a lot of shit there. Although that horse pastures map isn't actually a good map to defend. Right, we need to build a building. Two turns for 100 income. That's 50 and 30, so that's actually less. Yeah, let's go for that one. We also have a higher percentage from industry from... Oh no, our income percentage is way higher. I don't know why. Oh, because of that? No. Why? Because of the guy who's doing a thing here, so that one's actually better for the moment. Alright, Lubu. If you want to run back, I'd be okay with that too. I'll chase you. I'll fucking chase you, little bitch. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Did he go on ambush stance? Please tell me I discover it. I didn't. I'll gladly let myself am get ambushed by that army, though, I think. Although he will replenish. He would have replenished the turn, at least. Okay, we finished that off. What's next? So that was the replenishment of mustering turns. Okay, so there's tons of... I don't care about the building ones right now, because I'm not going to... That's not something I'm going to be able to do. Public order faction-wide, probably useful. <sighs> Food from farming is literally worthless right now. I'll go back to the first tier. I do want some of the units. I mean, to be fair, I don't... This unit is definitely one that I that looks like one I'll want to use at some point, but it's also quite expensive, so not right now. Uh, population growth's not that necessary. At the, in the end game, it kind of fucks you more than anything. I probably don't care too much about the militia virtue enchant. Well, the militia virtue might be all right. High armor piercing damage. Hundred morale, so I guess they're basically unbreakable. That's their thing. Is that they're? Oh, there's only 120 of them. Okay, never mind. They're fucking terrible. This is the. Venerable Wu unit, which looks kind of low on damage, honestly. Insane melee evasion, though. So, while well, they haven't got a... Sh oh, they've got 40% missile resistance as well. So they're like a really good frontline unit, although their wall is flanking. Oh, and they've got poisoned weapons. Interesting. So they haven't got a shield, but they've got massive missile resistance and massive melee evasion. So they look like they'd be a good melee or a frontline unit, but according to the game, they're not. I'm going to go for the public order, though. Alright, do I try and run into this ambush here? Ah, we got ambushed! Still in my in my favor. Okay, kind of wish it was a uh, filled ambush, but... He's got like a third of... Well, no, not a third. He's got like... Two-fifths of my army. Surely we can do this. His army's very fucked, but it is an ambush. Ugh. That is kind of painful, because we have a massive ranged advantage, which isn't really going to help us here. This is going to be a mess, like an absolute mess, but if it means we can kill him off, it's worth it. Oh, don't do this to me. Let me control my fucking army, please. Immediately challenged to a duel. Alright. Oh my god, okay. Well, at least he charged in there. Oh my god, the ambushes in this game are a lot more successful than I than they were in previous games. Holy shit. Uh Cav, get over here. Uh, two of you get over this way, I think. You guys have to get to the fucking dudes we can kill. Wait, why? Oh, what the fuck? I 
Okay, I guess I accidentally let you sell, get let you get fucked. Uh, okay, ambushes are actually really crazy in this battle or in this game. Holy shit! I didn't realize that. Holy shit! What's that? Get to the other side? No, I don't want to do that. Go kill the ranged units. I need to get in there as well. We lost our archers here, but that's fair enough. God damn it! You lost your side of the units. Just go kill them, please. I'm assuming you also have lower morale. Did I just lose the fucking campaign by letting myself get ambushed on purpose? Oh, you didn't use it. God damn it. Get in here. Attack him. Oh my god, my entire first thing is routing. Okay, you did use it. Thank god. Uh, is my cab doing anything? Yes. One of them is at least, and that one is too. Okay, get over there. Where's my other cab over here? Uh, it's routing. Okay, of course it is. And morale is just horrible, I guess. Okay. You kill him. Oh my god. Just turn around and start shooting something. Get in here. I think we are winning still, but it's. Oh my god, Gongu's not winning that one, though. He's not losing it too much either. I need to get in there. I need to just need to get away from Lubu. Fuck, he's routed. You gotta be kidding me. That's not good. Get in here. Kill Lubu for me. Shoot there. Success looms large. I don't know if that's true or not. Doesn't want to jewel. Unsurprising. It's getting wrecked as fuck. Get in there, boys. Cavalry, get out of there. Well, this wasn't really a good battle, but I think we are still gonna- no, don't charge in there. I think we are still gonna win it. And again, we haven't done so yet, so let's kill him. If he wants to fight you, you can fight him. Oh, shit. I don't like Lu Buka. Oh my god, they're taking a chunk out of Gongdu. Gongdu, get in into this unit here or something. Gongdu, just get the fuck away from fucking hell's routed again. Uh, he's super low HP, you know what, I'll take that. Oh no, he's not. How the fuck is he not that low HP anymore? He was, like, almost dead just now. Oh, Lu Bu's gone mad. Uh, no, you're not taking that one. You're dead immediately if you do that. Fuck me, we're not winning this at all anymore. I'm surprised their units just didn't die from the charges that I fucking did. Just a route, you sons of bitches. What is this back here? Fire. I got a cab over here. Okay, you better fucking win this. You are winning this right now, but he is the sentinel, so I can change around any moment. Come over here and start shooting at something. You just gotta get a mass right over here and we. Instantly fucking fantastic, but these units aren't routing. Okay, you are winning that one. It's gotta kill Lu Bu off somehow. Okay, so this ambush definitely didn't work as well as I was hoping it would, but again, we are winning. You've been standing there doing fuck all the. Oh no, no, don't interrupt there. Go and kill Lu Bu. You need to stay away from Lu Bu, unfortunately. I gotta get my spears over there. Okay. Two men, okay, that unit's fucking dead. Let's tell you that much. Come on. You need to get behind my line. Alright. Couple units over here doing absolutely nothing that I totally forgot about. That was a mess. And which in this game, I've now realized are much better. Okay, you've won. Good man. Okay, you guys go fuck Lu Bu up, please. He's gone his HP back again because he's, I guess, Oathsworn. And his mate just died. Fuck you know. These guys are both dead as well. This unit's dead, the other one is dead as well. Alright, I'm back again. I'm pretty sure someone just died right there. Yep. Uh, and they, were, they weren't legendary, so I'm pretty sure that guy's actually dead. Zhang Kai has also gone mad with grief. Uh, you... You has been completely destroyed. Yeah, that's... It's happening a lot lately. 
I'm gonna use your ability here. I was running away, never mind, don't use it. Oh, you're fucking dismounted. God damn it. Mount up. He's going mad. Why did I leave my archer over there? Alright. This was painful. I lost the general as well. Can replace him pretty easily with someone else though, so it's not a huge deal, but I wasn't vested in that man. Fuck, I didn't... Oh yeah, I was gonna mount you up and then I totally forgot. There, a big chunk out of him, and now you need to get the fuck out of there. And oh my god, you took a big chunk out of him. Just going back to my archer unit again. Lost the units, yeah, we lost uh, quite a few units in fact today. Alright, surely that's it now. There we go. Oh my god. That was horrible. Pyrrhic victory. I think I deserve that one. That's Lu Bu's army gone now, though. So yeah, he died, which kind of sucks, because he's pretty solid. But we can recruit that lady, I think. Who's the same kind of role. He's actually dead. <laughs> he lost me one of jewel as well. Uh, I'll take the money again. So yeah, that'll be... Oh, we don't actually have a replacement for him, for his roles. We'd have to recruit Bai Shu Zhang, who's new. I think we do have one of these, but she might be already doing something. She has an astronomer. Fucking great. I'll keep my old retinue, yeah. An uncommon talent. Fucking go on then. That increased my income somehow. You know, my estimated salary is 100, but it obviously doesn't cost anything. Shang Rong. I don't think I ever lost a general in the other campaign, but oh well. Okay, so do I have someone on assignment right now that does that same thing? Lian Yuan. I think that's her. Let's look in here. Yeah, that's her. Okay, well, maybe I'll replace her with her then. Although I, can't, I wouldn't be able to keep my retinue. Eh, fuck it. We'll just have another one. That's fine. What's your ability? The same one? Yeah, I guess they always start at the same shit. That's pretty good, actually. Arm piercing damage for her. Uh, she has satisfaction. She's beautiful. Aww. Did we lose any weapons? Uh, that's definitely better. I guess whatever he had on him, maybe we lost? I'm not sure. Cunning. I don't think we really want that on you. We want that on the extra ammunition person, which would be you. And then we give you instinct or... I think he had the Jade Horseman, didn't he? So we didn't lose it. And I think this, yeah, he had this, the weapon as well, so I'm pretty sure we got that one too. Alright. Dan Zhan died. We gained Maimed while he's dead, so I guess that doesn't matter too much. He also gained the trait dead. Rivals with Lu Bu. Friendship was destroyed with Lu Bu. What the fuck? Alright. Yeah, yeah, I killed your mate. I know. You're killing your mate, actually. Well, actually, no. Killing the second general, so uh, the, the legendary character, not Lu Bu, but the other one. Killing him is what kind of fucked me. Because that's actually... Um, that actually made Lu Bu go enraged, and that made him get a ton of HP back. And that's why also why the other guy got, gained a ton of HP back when I accepted the jewel. And I was like, why the fuck are you so HP, much HP? You were almost dead just now. It's because he gained all that HP back from the going mad, basically, with grief. So that kind of sucks. Right, well, we can't really go on the offensive with this uh, half-dead army right now. So let's go ahead and sit back in Voodoo and replenish for a little bit again, I think. Kind of sucks, because this would be the perfect opportunity to go for it. Unless you want to take peace now. Fuck me, how's that? Has that gone worse since I destroyed that army? Well, so be it. Um, okay, we're upgrading buildings. That's all fine and dandy. 375 for that one. I guess because the building only cost 500 to begin with. Okay, well. Shit sucks. Anyone else want to go peace? No. No. Okay. As long as the guy in the south doesn't show up anytime soon, I'm okay. Still hasn't done so right now. 
Liu Yi signed a peace treaty with Kongzhu. Okay. Liu Yao declared war on the Han Empire. Then Dong Dong Min as well. Friendship forming between Zhu Yu and Tao Chi. No idea who the fuck these people are, but great. Engineer. Expertise resolve and increase rate of wall and settlement damage during sieges. That's pretty solid. I'll keep that for my next uh, actual scholar if I end up ever getting a scholar in the army, which I'd love to get. Um, I really want to go on the offensive, but I think I gotta give it at least one more turn before these units are back. I wonder if I could reach it if I go over here. My replenishment will be worse, quite a bit worse in fact, but it doesn't really matter because these units are, I mean, they're wounded, but not by an insane amount. These ones are all got full anyway. And I might be able to reach this place next turn. I'll be able to get just behind it. Oof, I don't know if I'll be able to reach it. Be close. Do I just give up on replenishment all, all over and just go on the offensive? I'll still get, these guys will still come back anyway. I think I will. I give up on replenishment just to be able to take this next turn. I gotta go on the offensive. I gotta do something right now. Our income's pretty solid though. Do I keep upgrading this? I think I will. Or that one. More replenishment. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Increase my income as well by 80, so it's not bad at all. Uh, everyone's fucking unhappy. It looks like you guys are gonna form the unhappy crew soon. They'll make your own army. <laughs> Uh, has this changed at all? Nope, still a big old no. No peace for me. There's a good chance there's gonna be an army in here as well. Oh, there was some movement down there, so that I might lose my silk trader right there. Soon. Oh yeah, he's that's Dongmin himself. He Wang Shao is dead. Alright, well, that was kind of to be expected. Pei Yuan Shao and Yuan Shao. Oh my god, are these people I can recruit right now? Hey! Welcome to the crew, boys. Welcome indeed. I'm gladly spend my money on that. Fuck yes! We got Pei Yuan Shao and Huang Shao himself. I'm pretty sure. Oh, they got sweet items as well. Hell yeah, that was worth. He's a level 4 and level 3 as well. I'm glad they just kind of pop up. Like in the global recruitment, and I'm the first to be able to recruit them right away. Okay. He's a legendary character as well. Minus 50% 50, 50 ability recharge rate. That's interesting. Not good, but he's got 72 armor though. That's kind of insane. Alright, so you got a good weapon. We got no mount for you. You've got plus 2 instinct and satisfaction. I'll give that some. Give you something else, I think. I don't really have anything else to give you, never mind. And you got instinct, satisfaction, and military supplies. Hmm. How about you take this resolve instead? And you... Oh, fuck me. We've got one of the best duelists in the game, I just realized. <laughs> yes. Alright. Um, I just realized this. I, don't, I wasn't even thinking about this. Okay, you can have this thing, which makes your uh, dodge chance even higher. And then six instinct. Have we got anything else that's better? Not really. Instinct gives you melee damage, recruitment cost, this gives you satisfaction, unit morale. I'll give him the authority instead, because it makes more sense for his character. Doesn't have a legendary item for a weapon, unfortunately, but fuck me. Okay, unfortunately I'm not in the right territory, but I, I might just make that a separate army. A second, a separate army. Although if I could ever recruit He Yi, I'd probably make it an army with him, Yuang Xiao, and He Yi. But I'll probably put these together in an army because they like each other, and it works out. Fuck yeah. That faction dying has been uh, very good to me. Alright, tell me if there's an army in here. There is quite a large army in there. I could siege them out. But I'd still kind of have the problem of my army is kind of dead. And if there's a second army coming in or something, I'd be just ruined. If I could reach this right now, I probably would just take that instead, but I can't. I can't. Um... My infantry is fine, my cavalry is actually mostly fine too. My archers are not too bad. These units are kind of fucked and so is that one. We're actually not too bad to be honest. What's the garrison like here? Not too big. They have no cavs, so we have full on cav advantage. They're also quite wounded. If I wait, they'll just replenish, so let's just siege them and siege them out. 
they're gonna come at me anyway. That doesn't change anything. All right, so let's just um, uh, starve them out. And I think I'm gonna recruit another army. I don't really want to take that, but I need to protect myself against that. Okay, how much would it even cost to recruit these boys? They've already got their own garrison or um, their own units. Oh, we'd even get a new unit of archery masters, which I probably have to keep around because I I'll never be able to recruit that unit myself. That's pretty cool. He's also got reclaimers already. I probably wouldn't keep them though, but this unit I can never recruit myself, so I almost want to keep it around just for that reason alone, although they're also fucking expensive, I just realized. Okay, well, I'll recruit them next turn probably because I do need another army. I can afford at least one of them with a full stack, which would help me a lot in protecting my towns. So, I think I'm going to end this turn. He's going to sally out, I imagine. Yep, alright. So we're going to fight that one next time. It's actually in his favor, but I think that's a fucking lie. Disgusting lies over here. Um, we'll fight that one next time, because I actually need to go right now. This has been good, though. I'm really enjoying this campaign so far. Having beaten two Lubu twice already, first battle definitely better than the uh, second one. Ambushes are very strong in this game, I've just realized. In Shogun 2, they're so horrible, because you still got to run halfway across the map to get to the enemy, and by then they've just gone up to a mountain, basically. In this game, you start so close that you just immediately charge your cav into their arches and stuff, or at least that's what the enemy did to me, but if you're the one ambushing, of course. Charge their arches, your cavalry into their arches, and you just fuck them up. Like, this, they just get wrecked. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Next time, though, this battle... Uh, and uh, recruiting that, oh, yeah, recruiting Huang Xiao and uh, Pei Yuan Xiao as well. Pretty good uh, boys to have uh, jumping into our faction. So, until then, have a good day and goodbye.